We're talking with Mustang head uh, volleyball coach Terry Cohane following the Mustangs' exciting uh, five-set match uh, victory over uh, Augustana. And coach, uh, this just proves how tough our conference is tonight. Uh, you look at the scores around the league, but uh, uh, just in our match, just a very good seven-seed Augustana, and they pushed you to the limit today. Absolutely, and and we weren't surprised at all. They, I mean. I don't remember our conference ever being this for first round opponents, the matchups that were there and, and all of them were capable of, of beating the quote higher seed. And, um, you know, I, yeah, you're right. It just, just does verify how, how good our conference is. Well, the first couple of sets, uh, tip your hat to Augustana, they uh, hit extremely well defensively, just uh, put up a big block and uh, we had a lot of hitting errors, hit just 114, had 11 errors in the first set, and uh, they really got our offense just uh, out of rhythm. They're out of set, basic, out of system, all the first couple of sets. Yeah, you know, and we we just were, we couldn't get anything going. Um, Taylor hit well in that um, match, but or that game, but we just, it was just hard to get any kind of flow going. A lot of that was we didn't handle the ball particularly well. We d did not defend or block. And, um, you know, that's typically been something that's an issue for us. And if when we do defend, we're really a good team. And uh, But we just, I thought, played harder defensively as the match went on because we had to. And that's not the best formula to operate with. Well, it's, uh, you've, always, you've had a, a balanced attack all season long, uh, you know, on, on the offense and defense. But today, uh, Taylor Reese uh, hit outstanding, uh, 449. And again, 24 kills, a career high. But probably more importantly, her, her six blocks, you know, with, with one block solo, that was just as important as the offensive numbers. Well, and we used her. I mean, at the time, at, at one time, we just, she was the only kid who was actually swinging for us. and. Um, and was getting, you know, things done. And so she carried us for a while on that. And, and then um, Abby did a nice job of recovering from a real slow start to be exceptional. Because I thought her, you know, she really, I think she was hitting negative 100 after game one um, and ended up, being a go-to person so and Sarah Parker back in the lineup was a uh, she did a nice job there too and I just thought we had players start playing better I know that sounds stupid but it 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 really did happen for us you know and it's uh, certainly a team game and that's where we we just need those you know, we need everybody on the same page. Well, the big win tonight uh, keeps you going, obviously, in the conference tournament and, and helps, obviously, for the regional purposes as well. But do you look at this weekend, uh, obviously, you want to keep winning, and it's great to win a championship. But this help kind of get that preparing, like a regional mode, playing back-to-back -back days, that type of thing, because it's going to be very similar. Uh, this weekend will be very similar to the regional in a couple of weeks. Yeah, if, you know, obviously, you got to win if you want to get to play back-to-back. -back, but it, to us, it's we've talked about it when we started our road trip last week with Mankato and, and Concordia. We just said, you guys, these are all going to be like regional matches. I mean, not necessarily importance-wise, but the the talent level that you're playing and and how good the teams are. So um, we we just talked as a group and have kind of looked at it that way. Is yeah, you better be ready yeah. to play, or you're not. There's no you know, slouches on the yeah. schedule by any means. All right, Coach, congrats on the win tonight, and best of luck this weekend in St. Paul. Thank you very much.